But first, we're taking a closer look at the travel industry, which took a massive hit across the world as millions of people faced lockdown and international flights were grounded. Well, Forbes magazine reported earlier this year that the COVID-19 outbreak has cost the global tourism industry some $935 billion. But some in the industry are seeing an opportunity in the new normal. In India, tourism and hospitality has emerged as one of the key drivers of growth in the services sector. Many are looking to digital acceleration to help push them forward. They certainly are. And for more on this, we're joined now by Depesh Varma, who's the Senior Vice President Foreign Exchange Business at Thomas Cook India. Depesh, it is so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank now you, Juliet. And Thank you for inviting me for this session. An absolute pleasure. Now, while you're one of the largest players in the foreign exchange business in India, can you give us some, text, some context here by telling the viewers briefly, giving them that overview of Thomas Cook India and indeed its other businesses? Sure. Uh, Thomas Cook India Group uh, is a part of Fairfax Financial Holding Limited um, and is one of the largest travel service provider network spanning across uh, 25 countries and five continents with over 7,000 employees. From an India perspective, uh, we set up our first office in 1881, and we have nearly 350 stores. On the forex front in India, we have over 100 stores and presence in over 60 cities and airports. We are also the only a non-banking entity to be a member of SWIFT and also an issuer of forex prepaid card under the MasterCard and Visa program. Depesh, great to have you here. If I can ask, how the how's the foreign exchange business countered the impact of this COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah. You know, um, as soon as the pandemic struck, we realized that this is not going to go away so soon. And as an organization, we implemented a three-pronged approach, which was survive, revive, and finally reimagine our business. And the key theme that came out of this whole exercise was to build scale and create a contactless journey through digital means for both our B2C and B2B customers. From a B2C perspective, we set up India's um, first virtual Forex store, where we equipped our staff to work with auto dialers, CRM access, coupled with the uh, capability of digitally interfacing with our customers. Um, because of this innovation that we brought about, we were able to uh, you know, service our customers who wanted to send tuition fees or living expenses to their kids studying abroad. We can you know, only imagine the apprehension and anxiety the parents would have gone through during this phase. We could stitch up the entire digital contactless journey for our customers as we had the capability of having our own foreign currency account, coupled with the fact that we were also a member of SWIFT, thereby uh, you know, enabling a seamless experience. But I'm happy to say that never during the entire phase we were closed for our customers. It was business as usual digitally, though. Uh, and as we speak, it has become a new normal now, uh, you know, where we now have a classic omni-channel uh, solution where customers can be serviced without stepping out of their home. On the B2B side, um, we had a lot of partners, individuals who lost you know, their source of income and livelihood due to the pandemic. Uh, we realized that as an industry leader, uh, we could support them and make this a win-win situation. And we launched an industry-first B2B portal called FXMate. Um, I'm glad to mention that in a matter of year, we have been able to onboard over 1,000 partners who can promote all foreign exchange products and services with just a few clicks from the safety and convenience of their home. All I can say is that uh, with these digital initiatives, we were able to service our customers during the peak of the pandemic in a contactless manner. This also helped us to build scale, you know, in digitally. And, and what is the business recovery you've seen? These are the pre-pandemic levels. Uh, uh, we are observing an uptick in international travel uh, with a positive announcement of reopening of borders uh, and acceptance of vaccine. Uh, we are witnessing a strong positive consumer sentiment reflective of significant pent-up travel demand. In India, uh, you know, the upcoming festival season, coupled with the Expo 2020 Dubai, cricket fixtures like IPL and World Cup have, you know, already started catalyzing international travel de demand. For the month of September, uh, we have nearly recovered 80% of our pre-pandemic levels in the international travel space. Uh, we are also seeing a return in travel confidence in our corporate business and MICE units. 
we see a remarkable uh, uptick on our forex remittance portfolio which includes customers remitting money overseas for study purpose or living expenses as you may be aware india is the second largest uh, you know uh, sending students overseas for further studies after china in 2019 uh, we had approximately 6 lakh students who went abroad and given the trend this year uh, we are slated to surpass that mark by the end of the year they are already uh, started reflecting in our numbers and after a sustained build up we are over 100% of our pre pandemic level in this portfolio uh, you know my take here is that people are ready and eager to travel abroad and go on holiday work and study i can assure you next time when we meet you will not talk about recovery but about how much percentage we have surpassed the pre pandemic levels i'm very sure about that we love your confidence depesh let's talk about trends then what are the consumer trends that we're seeing in the foreign exchange business undoubtedly uh, we are witnessing a new evolved customer who has adopted a digital medium as the new normal you know uh, customers clearly have become cautious and want contactless option to interact with service providers uh, our recent survey revealed some important inputs uh, and i will uh, list few of them uh, 69 respondents said that they were keen to resume travel immediately personal health and safety continues to be a key consideration for 70% of our respondents 66 respond uh, percent of respondents are willing to increase their spends to ensure higher level of health and safety while traveling and 50% of our respondents wanted either a home service or preferred a contactless experience through virtual store or video chat also on the preferred payment options we are seeing a clear shift for digital options where for example for upi one of the digital payment options in india was clocking a record a transaction month on month pre pandemic march 2020 india had clocked 1.2 billion transaction September 2021 it is at 3.65 billion transaction a three fold increase um at thomas cook forex we are seeing a similar trend where 85% of our customers uh, are transacting through digital means we have seen an increased adoption of our forex prepaid card uh, where currently 80% of our customers carry this card versus 60% pre pandemic this clearly shows that covid 19 has been a catalyst for a faster digital adoption at the customer end along with a lot of focus you know on uh, health and safety and, and depesh as an industry leader what are the key learnings that you can summarize about what you've experienced from the last one and a half years because it has been a turbulent time for the industry well um there has been many uh, but let me summarize this in three key headings you know uh, first would be uh, focus on what is in your control it's very easy to get distracted by all the negativity and things that are not in your control um, but i strongly believe what is in your control is the right team the right process the right technology and a very strong governance structure to ensure everybody is aligned to achieve the organization goals second is to adopt an operating model built on speed you know create a team uh, which is digitally equipped uh, powered with multidisciplinary skills which would help to make speedy decisions for your customers and lastly uh, we also need to create an ecosystem in your organization which establishes common purpose which is uh, built on trust creates clear accountable roles develop culture that you know empowers people and provide technology they need so i would summarize my learning into you know these three buckets depesh you strike me as a very optimistic positive uh, gentleman so i'm looking for a positive answer here if you had uh, to do any crystal ball gazing uh, where would you think the industry is heading in the coming months and in the year 2022 sure uh, you know, well uh, covid-19 has caught us taught us that nothing is certain you know expect the unexpected but if i have to wear that cap i feel there will be a steep demand for international travel and forex requirement for both corporate and leisure customers uh, you know i was reading today that as per iata the industry losses are expected to decline by 75% from 52 billion in 2021 to 12 billion in 2022 my expectation is that we should reach uh, around 75 to 80% of the pre pandemic levels by quarter 2 of 2022 which is april june and there are few reasons why i'm confident from an india perspective you know uh, due to the efforts of government of india in terms of vaccination very soon 
by end of this month, uh, we would be touching 1 billion doses of vaccination. Bulk of these are our potential travel customers like corporate, leisure, and student travelers. Uh, another announcement that has come recently is that inbound leisure travel to India is open from 15th of October. Also, um, you know, with the expected implementation of uniform international travel policy like IATA travel passport, it augurs well for international tra travel. Uh, we expect to surpass the pre-pandemic level in the study abroad segment for Forex since all the key destinations have already relaxed their norms for students. One of our big market is Australia, and with the recent news that we are opening their borders by November, it augurs well for our student portfolio. Uh, I also, from business perspective, I also expect most of the businesses to run in a hybrid model, where uh, you know customers are given choice to be catered digitally or through brick and mortar. This will help the travel industry. And lastly, um, during the pandemic, you know, a lot of us went through so many anxieties towards our health job anxieties, you know, financial anxieties. And this, I'm very sure, will lead to new leadership skills coming to the fore, um, you know, which will be based on soft skills like empathy, transparency, active listening, empowering your people, which will help your organization and team to be heard and, you know, ready for all the uncertainty. OK, so some positive things to look forward to in 2022. But sadly, time goes against us. But Depesh Farmer, Senior Vice President of Foreign Exchange Business at Thomas Cook India, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you putting aside the time for us. And enjoy Cybos 2021. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me for these sessions. Thank you.